Aloha and welcome to my channel. I'm Coravel, and today we're gonna do a day in the life of a mechanical engineer. Maybe a week in the life, I don't know. I, I skipped my cop my skincare routine and my coffee making for you guys. Uh, first things first, I would share my screen, but I, I there's only so much I can share because I work for I can't share anything basically. <laughs> I'll share as much as I can. That's not gonna get me into trouble. <laughs> um, so first things first, at the beginning of the week, I like to make a laundry list of items that I need to do as most people probably do. It's like good, a good habit of project management. Um, so the first thing I did, and I sent out a meeting invitation right away to talk about um, this design that we're working and any changes that we can make to the design to increase manufacturability and lower costs um, It's this part that's made out of metal. Um, so right now it's steel Maybe we're gonna see if we can keep it the same. If not, then we have to do more analyses on it So I set up that meeting then I'm going to work on this CAD file um, Just continue making the model and then adding material properties then I am going to um, address some comments to this other change notice I'm working and submit that today. Let's get to it. was not planned for the day. Let's see if I have more of this. So now I'm in a webinar um, about additive manufacturing and I guess updates that PTC is doing to Creo. Very cool. Hello. So new day, new plant. And he set up. Who dis? <laughs> okay, so I realized that I didn't really film what I wanted to film yesterday, or actually the past two days. So like, if I'm sometimes I'm just so caught up in in doing my task and and working on my meeting that I forget to talk to you guys. So I'm so sorry about that. Also, I have a fan going on. I'm just finishing up this CAD model. I'm going to send it out. Oh, right. So I wanted to talk about this meeting I had with uh, manufacturing yesterday. It went really well. Um, I'm going to show an example later. I just can't show the specific example. So we talked to them about making this certain part manufacturable and they like the changes that we made and they're going to go ahead and make it. And then we, once I send them the CAD files. So. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to, I don't know if they're going to work on it this week. It'll be really cool so I could go in and see it in person. So when I finish that, um, I'm going to get ready for a meeting that, oh, my computer's about to die. I'm going to get ready for a meeting with my new hire. Um, our team hired, right? I guess our company hired like a bunch of newer engineers. So I'm helping um, one of them get started and making sure they're all up to speed. I mean, obviously it's going to take some time, but um, just making sure that they have everything that they need. Okay, so I'm gonna get back to this and update you guys as I go. Just gonna film myself record. Okay, I'm gonna listen to music. So I like to listen to like poppy music, if you care, you know. So 
pretty much did that from scratch and then found a couple vendors that we could work with, then work with them on the design. Yeah, and then they built it. And then the most rewarding part was I got to see it in person last year. Hey guys, so it is after work. Um, I'm exhausted. I just thought I should tell you guys that I'm eating a guava. And I know I didn't only talk about what I do in between work, but it's mostly just eat. If I have time, I'd make lunch. If not, I'll eat leftovers or make something quick. So after work, we normally eat a light snack and go to the gym and work out like 30 minutes at least. And then come back and wind down. Or, yeah, it varies. But yeah, that's pretty much what we do. I don't know if I want to show you myself working out. So today is Thursday and I have a weekly team meeting and we just pretty much go over like the status of our tasks and if we need help or if we can help someone else. And that's normally my only meetings on this day, but you know, I have a bunch of surprise meetings that come up. Like I have to set up another meeting going over this other change I'm working. By the way, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. So I was very adamant about keeping uh, type 1 and nylon in there. I, I'm still waiting. I'm waiting for them to send over the data sheet to see if that's something we can look at too. So our currently built, but when they get new orders, he's going to recommend to have her. Well, I finished my, my team meeting. Um, I got some good direction, good comments. So now I'm going to fix up one of the drawings that I'm working and add some slides to the slide deck I'm working about this other change and I'll take it from there. And I just wanted to quickly go over one of the design tasks that I'm doing right now. Um, this is a pretty an example. I'm going to explain it using the engineering design process, which every engineer should know. So this is an AC unit behind me. And let's say that this frame has gone obsolete. So that means the supplier no longer makes it. And um, that's a problem because we want to be able to sell this entire assembly to the customer with no issues. Um, so we need to find a replacement right away. First thing that we need to do to find the problem. Number two, we want to identify the requirements and the constraints. So this could be um, the size, the material, the specifications, the timeline in which we need to follow and the quantity that we need. Then once we have all of that identified, we can brainstorm and this is the fun part. Ideally, we want to keep the same part so we can look for a new supplier that carries the same part, if that's not possible. Search for different cost parts, commercial off-the-shelf parts that can um, do the same thing as this current design. Follow the fit, form, and function. If nothing looks promising, then we could also we also need to explore the possibility of making it in-house, manufacturing it in-house or outside. It sounds easy when I say it, but also it depends on the intricacies of the design. So if it's complicated or you need special tooling to make the part, then you're adding an extra layer of complexity. But it's okay, we're engineers, we'll figure it out. Once you brainstorm all of these ideas, then you start to explore different ideas at the same time. Then you should get a prototype. Prototype is the next step. So you need to have it made in-house or ordering one part from the supplier and then having it fit into the assembly and does it work the way it should. Okay, so if everything works, that's great. 
If not, then you go back and redesign and make some changes here and there. Um, then most importantly, communicate. Communicate your ideas, your results, action steps, and then at the end, everyone has to approve of, of the design. That's pretty much it. One of my tasks in a nutshell. See, y'all can't escape the engineering design process. That is how we do it in school and in the real world. So right now we're making dosa batter for our lunch later on. So we made this, let it sit overnight, and we're gonna have it with my favorite chutney. But I just thought I'd show you things that I do in between work since I work from home. Okay guys, and that is a wrap for my days in the life of a mechanical engineer. I hope that was helpful and you gained something from this video. Um, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. That'll help my channel so much. And of course, please manifest good things. Take care of each other and aloha.